In this screencast, I'm going to continue my treatment of surface integrals, and I'm going to go to the second of the two problems, and that is the following. Here you're asked to evaluate a surface integral, integral over a surface of yz ds, where here s is the surface parameterized in the following way. So in this case, you're given a parameterization in terms of u and v. You simply have to integrate uh, uh, yz over that parameterization. Now, as usual, you're not asked to, to sketch the surface, and you don't, to do the integral, you don't even have to understand what it is, but I think it's useful to do, so let's do it. So there's my coordinate system, x, y, z. And the thing that you should see here is if you look at the y and z components, you should see more or less immediately that y squared plus z squared, because of this sine and cosine, will simply equal to u squared, but u squared is simply x. As I say, you have this, the, the x, y, z points on the surface satisfy x is equal to y squared plus z squared. And hopefully you'll recognize that as a paraboloid. In fact, it's a circular paraboloid. So let's, uh, let's have a go at sketching it. So it will look like something like this. All right, it'll come out at all. Well, let's see. I'm not doing a very good job here. Let's see if I can improve this. You know what, I, I need to draw this circle up here. All right. All right, so again, I'm not, not my best sketch, but this is meant to be uh, the point uh, x is equal to 1. I should say here that u, that if u goes from 0 to 1, then x will also go from 0 to 1. This is this, uh, essentially the same parameterization I uh, used in the previous example, and you'll see that v, which plays the role of, a, of an angular variable, theta, goes from 0 to pi on 2. So in fact, this is going to still lie in the first octant, the same as the, the last example I did. So we have to, basically, we have to cut off this surface to just the first octant. Boy, I'm not drawing very well. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Cut this off here. Here. All right, so hopefully, all right, hopefully that's clear enough. Now, what we have to do, as always, we have to work out what ds is, right? And for that, we need to differentiate our parameterization. dr du will be equal to 2u sine v, cosine v. dr dv will be equal to 0. That'll be u cosine v minus u sine v. Now, I'm not going to fill in every detail here. I'll let you... Um, I'll let you do that at home. What you now have to work out is the cross product and then the magnitude of the cross product. If you'll do that, you'll come up with u, 1 plus 4 u squared to the 1 half. All right, so that's a straightforward calculation from that differentiation. And this is say the surface area, the element of surface area is given in terms of this parameterization by u plus u times 1 plus 4 u squared to the 1 half du v. Let me go ahead and underline it. Okay, so it's non-trivial in this case. All right, so you have that nice, um, that nice result. All right, so let me just say one other thing before I go on and do this, the the actual problem. Um, you could go at this point if you were asked, had you been asked to compute the area, just simply the area of this um, of this bit of surface. What you would do is you would integrate over the parameterization, naught uh, to one. That's my u, and v is naught to pi on two of ds. And ds is u 1 plus 4 u squared to the 1 half. I have to put the v on the inside, dv du. The v integral separates, and the u integral, you'll see that you, you can now integrate this rather easily. Well, hopefully you can see that. You can integrate that rather easily, so you can, um, you can get the area. Okay, so that's a nice little problem. So just to say that finding areas of paraboloids by integrating up surface area is, is quite doable. All right, so, but that's not the question you were asked. So let's cut that. Instead, what you were asked to compute is uh, the integral of yz. So we have to work out what yz is in terms of our parameterization. So yz is equal to, that's u sine v for y and u cosine v for z. That is to say it's u squared sine v cosine. So our integral is naught to two pi, excuse me, pi on two, that's my v, naught to one, that's u. And then we're going to have uh, u squared sine v cosine v, and then my ds 
my ds, if you recall, is u times 1 plus 4 u squared to the 1 half du dv. I'm not going to do every step here, but you can see that it does separate. So I have an integral, not to pi on 2, of sine v cosine v dv. Then an integral from 0 to 1 of combining the u's here, I have a u cubed, 1 plus 4 u squared to the 1 half du. And hopefully you can remember how to do this, these kind of integrals. I'll let you remind yourself. This integrates up to 1 half. This, you're going to have to integrate by parts once. To get, you're going to, to separate it into um, a u times 1 plus 4 u squared to the 1 half and a u squared. You'll differentiate the u squared, you'll integrate the other thing, you'll have to keep track of all the fractional uh, things going on. Anyway, if you do this, and it took me a couple times to get it right, you'll find that this answer here is 5 to the 3 halves over 48 plus 1 over, excuse me, 24 plus 1 over 120. And um, again, then you have to multiply this times this for the final result. And so it comes out to be 5 to the 3 halves over 48 plus 1 over 240. Okay, so nothing particularly interesting in the answer, but um, it's setting up the problem. Same steps, same steps as the previous one. You have to compute your ds. This is the key thing here, sorry for this. This is your key thing here. Again, it's not trivial in this case. You then have to evaluate your integrand using your parameterization and then uh, carry out some integration and you get the answer. So that finishes the examples on uh, surface integrals.